The already bitter battle in the race between Elizabeth Dole and Kay Hagan took another nasty turn today after a controversial attack ad hit the airwaves. Good evening. Hagan is so outraged, she's asking Dole to take it off the air. It deals with politics, religion, and at least according to the Hagan campaign, whether Hagan believes in, jo in God. Here's a look at part of the ad. A leader of the Godless Americans Pack recently held a secret fundraiser in Kay Hagan's honor. There is no God to rely on. There was no Jesus. Well, the ad comes on the heels of a new poll from the Associated Press showing Dole trailing Hagan. Hagan has 47 percent, Dole 43 percent. There is a 4 percent margin of error. Well, Bob Buckley joins us now to get to the bottom of this ad, what it claims, and whether Dole will take it off the air. Well, we asked her that directly and looked into whether the, looked into the claims in the ad and whether Kay Hagan backs the agenda of the Godless Americans Political Action Committee. When Elizabeth Dole's campaign bus rolled into Winston-Salem, she seemed as surprised about the revelations in her ad as anyone else. I was shocked by it when I heard. Once she had heard, though, she made sure everyone else got her take on it in this ad. She hid from cameras, took godless money. I think that she's got some serious questions to answer here as to why she went to Boston, traveled to Boston, to a fundraising event that was uh, established at the home of the founder of the Godless America PAC. Hagan, this is a fabricated, pathetic ad, was eager to answer. I really can't begin to tell you how upset I am. She has actually attacked my faith. In front of the church that she and her family have attended for a hundred years, Hagan laid out her history of service to First Presbyterian and pointed out that the Boston fundraiser was sponsored by 40 people, including former presidential nominee John Kerry. I didn't even know about the Godless Pact until Liddy Dole started talking about it. I'd never heard of it. And I certainly don't support anything that they stand for. There is no God to rely on. There was no Jesus. What is really the most upsetting to me is for my face to show up at the end of it and a voice going over it that says that there is no God. That is absolutely a fabricated, pathetic statement. And the Dole campaign's own paperwork shows that they knew it was the voice of Ellen Johnson of the Godless Americans who said that. But Dole supporters say the issue is still relevant because... It's a, an issue that was a judgment issue on the part of Kay, Kay Hagan. Uh, uh, I think most North Carolinians would uh, question her judgment to go there to take money from them. I did not take money from the Godless American PACs, absolutely not. And the Internet site Open Secrets, which tracks political donations, does not show any donations to Hagan from the PAC but does show that the host of that Boston fundraiser, Woody Kaplan, who is reported to be involved with Godless Americans, donated $2,300 to Hagan's campaign over the past month. I want you to know that I have contacted our lawyers and we are proceeding with the cease and desist order to sent to Elizabeth Dole to pull this ad. But when Dole was asked whether she planned to comply, she said, No, I don't. As they say, this is politics, not beanbag. As for accepting money from Woody Kaplan of Godless Americans, the Hagen campaign asks whether Elizabeth Dole questions the religion of all of her donors. To be continued, I'm mm -hmm. sure, Bob. Thank you. Well, does religion matter to voters? Past elections show it does, especially here in North Carolina, a historically conservative state. But many political scientists argue this election is different. They say voters are looking beyond questioning a candidate's religion and are taking a closer look at issues like the economy, the war, and the environment. With Dole down in the polls, some are also questioning the timing of this ad. Is Dole desperate or did the campaign, which has held this ad for more than a month, originally plan to release it now? The closer you run it to election day, the less likely there's going to be for that long-term backlash that could take place if you were to run this several months ago. Some analysts say the ad may help Dole with conservative traditional voters who many expect will wait and vote on election day.